Hey guys, Redditor6 here, and uh, as you can see, we've got a noticeable difference in today's uh, part. I decided to take it upon myself uh, for basically just a recap for y'all. Uh, basically, in the last episode we last ended off on, we made a base. But, as you can remember, I did not build much of this crap in here. So let me explain. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I basically went around just going to wreckage to wreckage, freaking getting freaking fragments and all, so that I can, you know, progress so that we can finally get into the, you know, modded portion of our playthrough, which hopefully you guys understand. And since, like, basically I already know where to get all the items in the game, it's completely understandable, I guess. I knew where to get all the fragments so far. We get a lot of stuff. We get the modification station fragment so we can upgrade the depth on Mr. Seamoth. And also, I found this. I found the vehicle for, I guess, the Atrama and the other, the other submarine? Now, so, let me give you the tour. So, we have the entrance to the base here. We have a desk, and the decoration mod allowed me to put these in here. Uh, we have two of these. I need to actually put more of these here so I get more storage. I'll make a storage room soon, but this is what I've got so far. I replaced the, uh, I was going to replace the idea of the freaking solar power to bioreactor right now. And so, yeah, this is what I got here. I've also, I've also unlocked the blueprint for the, uh alien containment so we can actually probably put like a thing above this so we get food and stuff and also bioreactor stuff i do still want to do one thing though i want to build this out to the surface so i can make a platform up there so i can put freaking uh these these hold on let me scroll up to it where is it where is it these freaking windmills they'll probably generate more power for the base we're real quick here we're gonna take the seamoth on over to the uh aurora so that we can explore more because i've got the laser cutter oh, crap oh well, let me introduce you guys to gary the punk he's trying to attack me right now gary the punk is the bone shark that lives near our base and for some freaking reason, he likes to terrorize my Seamoth. And so I call him Gary the Punk. Then this is also Gary, his twin brother, the Mean, because he has the Coror virus. So yeah, that's basically to get you guys up to speed of what's been going on. So, so let me look through here and hope I can find like one of those crates that has water. Cause I'm about to freaking start dying of water. Oof. What does this one have? Please have water. As a battery. I'll take it, but I need water. As of looking at the views of my Somatica remake uh, video, I'm gonna no longer actually think of continuing it. I mean, it was just concept in my, my opinion. I was just doing it to see if uh, you guys would like it. If not on the channel, give me that. I don't care that you have the coronavirus virus. Give me your freaking thing. Actually, it's a it's a bacterium, not a, not a virus. Yeah, there's one thing I've been lacking. I've been doing in Subnautica hardcore well off camera was uh I need a I need a stable supply of water and food, or else I'm gonna like die. And we do not want that because that will end our series here. So let me just craft up this uh, water bottle real quick. And uh, meet you guys at the Aurora. Also, one of the uh, modded factors I forgot to mention is that uh, base thing that I have in there. Actually makes a marker and a uh, you can change the color. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it can change the colors and all. It can be in the fucking aura. Another thing that I've actually installed 
in Subnautica modded, which is new, is Seamoth arms. It basically takes the prod suit arms and just basically puts them on the uh, Seamoth. I think this is helpful for, uh, I guess, gameplay if I really want items quicker. But I still have yet to discover the uh, drill arm. I mean, I've discovered one of the fragments while off camera, but I haven't found the other. I mean, I think I know where to get that other portion. Give me, give me that fire extinguisher. Why is it making grass stepping sounds? I'm stepping on metal game. Also, I've unlocked some of the parts of the Cyclops, so I guess we're getting that. All I have to do is get the bridge fragments. Hopefully this doesn't bug y'all. I'm doing so much, you know, gameplay behind the scenes, but I'm really doing it because I've already played the game and to speed up the, I guess, uh, the let's play of this mod pack I've made. I really want to get into the modded portion, but in order to do that, I would have to get through a lot of the base game material, so hopefully you guys can understand that. Give me that. I don't think I've gotten that uh, voice by the PDAE at all. Come on, grab it. There we go. I think there's a prawn suit upgrade in here too. Yoink. Oh, it's a storage thing. I'm not going for that one on the fire. I'm going on the one that's right here. Another radio message, which I do not give a shit about anymore because I literally know what happens to everyone. Everyone dies except for Margaret Meta. She somehow survived in fucking below zero. Also, uh, I looked into my mod pack. Uh, I cannot create those platforms for some reason. The mod pack, I, I have it installed. It's just that for some reason, it just does not want to work. Water. Inventory full, god damn it. Eat one of these. Oh, I just wasted that one. Uh, where's a duffel bag? in here i want to just dump all my titanium into it because i'm here to collect and steal all right Ooh, i'll take that i i will take all of the freaking stuff that i can get what's in here nutrition block yes do i remember the code something like that, i think i mean would it be considered cheating if if i basically look up the code and I just, I just wait until I get the freaking radio message. But it's gonna be after the sunbeam fucking dies. I have to fucking get through this. Fire extinguisher. Go! Yo. Another battery, another battery. Water, battery. I feel like I'm running out of room, I am. I'm running out of room! Put. One thing I need. What the? Single wall shelves. They're used here. Didn't know that. I need the cat poster. That's one of the main things I need. No, was it actually that number in here? Nope. Not even gonna try. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. <gasps> the Gargoyle plushie, I need it. Uh, uh, what to, what to banish to the Shadow Realm. Ooh, double bed. Bed. I need the Gargoyle plushie. Give me it. Where is it? Yoink. I need that blue cap. Take that first aid and now I'm heading to the second portion of this freaking facility. Facility? I mean, uh... It's a fucking ship, Red Hedgehog. You dumbass. I'm trying to like speed run through the Aurora again. No! Hey, not the static doing? again! Uh, uh, paper. Okay. But 
Uh, code. Oh, shoot. Bleed somewhere around here. There we go. Find access. Open the door. Alright, what did we have in here? Data download. Repulsion cannon. And a bunch of other nothing. Alright, we out of here. We going to the bay. Now I'll meet you guys outside. Ow, I'm burning. Uh, uh, get in the water. Okay. Well, that was not a pleasant, uh, way to get back. All right. Oh, so you might notice that, uh, my, my Seamoth is called, what is it? Little Red Mark II. Uh, that's not because the, the first Seamoth broke. No, no, this is an homage to the first uh, ever Seamoth I built, uh, on this YouTube channel. Oh my god, that Reaper. I swear to god, it's supposed to be further back than normal. Probably angry at all the new species of freaking crap that's near it. Alright, I'm gonna go deposit all this stuff and I'll meet you guys in the next area we gotta cover. Alright guys, welcome to our next area of, uh, selection. We are in the Degasi habitat area. Now we're here for a couple of things. Mostly we're here for magnetite. Also, I was just realized I could have got freaking modification station fragments here. Well then. Anyways. Uh, we gotta carefully maneuver through here so that we can get some of the fragments. Here, I think. Oh my gosh, I just see, I see at the, the right there, there's a tech pistol freaking fragment. Give me the tech pistol. I barely scratched the surface, I'm trying to find those. Ugh, I hate those freaking things. Uh, okay. Frames dropped a bunch, but okay, we're we're fine, I guess. Pass this stingray thingy. I hate it because like if you literally stay by it so close, you can literally die instantly. Another damaged pistol fragment. We might unlock the the uh, the uh, tech pistol today, maybe. Another one. I think data box. I'm not going for that PDA. I should probably go back for air. I'm stuck. Okay, there's PD, there's not really much over there. Yeah, I'm going back. What? Go! I don't mean to alarm you, but I have to go! Okay, good. We have a med kit on ourselves, so we... Excuse me, can you shut the fuck up? We only need one more fragment. Is there just, like, one more fragment I can find over here? Looking through the windows and shit. Oh, there it is! The last tick pistol fragment. Let's go! We've unlocked the tech pistol. Wow, it didn't even give us no, like, new PTA data, uh, freaking update. Alright. Alright, we on out of here. Oh, crap. What the fuck just bit the shit out of the fucking Seamoth? I'm out. Oh! Before I head out, I didn't realize we need magnetite. If I want to make the Mark II. If I want to make the Depth Module II. I'm going to need some of that. So. I'm trying to look for Magnetite. There it is. Why is it so small? Let me repair this thing real quick. Why is it so... Is this because of the decoration mod? That sucks. 
Oh god. I think I might have a stalker tooth. I'm not too sure. If not, I can easily grab some. I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit. And there we go. And now we have Mark II. And I think your power is going to die in the base. But. Alright, we've got Seamoth Depth Module Mark II. Next thing I want to do, which I've already started to prepare for, is to be putting the power cells in the, uh, not that, Altera Fabrication Facility. Um, let me look through here. I don't need to be poor looking, but I... Alright, give me a second, guys. I'll make this, uh, high oxygen tank. Ah, I'm a... Gary! You fucker. I was gonna steal his egg. Hey, it's a time cap. Oh, free. I'm about to freaking die. <laughs> I found a time cap, so hold on. I gotta get a loot that real quick. Who knew that there's a fucking time capsule right next to my base? What the fuck? Where is it? There it is. Yoink. Now, right, let's see what this one says. Hi. Oh, it's a cuttlefish. 2401. This is a time capsule from 2018. Well, I'll soon leave this planet to the person who will read this message. I leave you some stuff. I say give you some someone to play with a friend, my friend. Give this little thing as much love as possible, and promise me to say goodbye to him at the right time. Please do not let him go. I really like him. I hope you live, or will live, a great adventure in this game. To me, I almost take off. So. Goodbye and enjoy the end of the message, Martin. Well, we get a message from Martin. He provided us with a cuttlefish egg. And a, the Aurora miniature? Oh my god, this can only be found in the captain's quarters. This is what I wanted. Now we make ultra high capacity tank. Now let me show you all why I crafted these. Bro, oh, look at this. It's a Cyclops bridge fragment just on the edge of this freaking cliff. I don't even know that they spawned here on the freaking uh, grassy plateaus. Huh. Anyways, time to continue. Alright guys, we're almost here. Um, as of getting here, I saw, saw those weird three-eyed creatures from earlier. There they are. Ah! One thing we had to do before going in here is gonna make sure we don't die. Where was the entrance to this thing, if I remember? Oh god, that bone shark. I think, was it at the bottom? Somewhere. Aha, right here. Alright. Wish me luck. This could be, uh, could be hardcore breaking. This is why I crafted everything beforehand. Okay, what do we got here? Good. We gotta repair this shit. Hey, come on, come on. There. Think. Open the door. Locked door. Don't tell me those f fuckheads are biting my, my seam. Oh, I swear to God. I'm getting out there to fucking kill them. Where is the vent up there? I swear to God. If you guys are biting my seam off, I'm going to end y'all's lives. They are biting the shit out of it. What the fuck are you? Come here. Come here. You gonna make kits on me? Yeah. Yeah, run. Run. Get over here. Yeah, run. Itch. Don't bite my don't bite my seam off. Swear I heard it coming back. I need some air before going back in. Going in. 
don't die. I hate how like confusing the thing looks. Going in. Down here, I guess. Down here. Uh, locked door. I swear to God, guys, quit biting my damn sea moth. All right, give me a minute, guys. Hey, maybe I should have crafted that tech pistol so I can fucking kill them. Well, they haven't bit it. They might. Oh, there he is. What a bitch. We about to get to scrapping? Bink, bink, bink. Yeah, get away. If I had a thermal blade, I think I'd do much damage. Alright, I'm just gonna go in. Hopefully my Seamoth doesn't fucking explode due to the bone shark's idiocy. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh god. Um Keeper Lounge. There's a bunch of shit in here. Oh, there's a data thing. Transport drone terminal. Uh, what else do we got in here? Oh, there's a vent. There. Repair it. Further electrical boxes in need of repair. Oh shit! I just, I just saw my fucking percentage on my sea moth that is not sea moth sea glide that is not good and i'm going to go get air <sighs> some water no battery uh scanner Oh, my repair tool is low. I should probably maybe craft a new batteries before uh, going in. I'm just gonna replace this. We don't run out of power down here. That would be very unfortunate. Probably also crafted fins before going in here. Alright. Uh. It wasn't there, it was over here, I believe. Vent. Vent goes into here. Uh, ooh, power sources, yes. Bink, bink, bink. There we go. Power's been added. Reactivate. There we go. Alright, uh, now that we've reactivated that, uh, I'm gonna go back up for air because I do not want to drown. Where am I? I'm over yonder. Get to the SEMA! I think I'm able to access stuff now. Open. Still locked. <laughs> uh, uh. That's 70. some air real quick and then we go back in once we do this we'll finally be able to start our uh, modded let's play technically we need a four digit code I don't care I'm gonna swiftly go back here go through this ventilation thingy here, the maze. Yeah, data box. Altera depot. I'm looking up in here. I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, system activated. Is there any codes? I think I might have to check my PDA for codes. Should be a way to get into that one room. Door open? No. This one. Fabricator room. We need a code. What's back here? 
ventilation shaft. I need air. I'm going to go get air before I go into the new ventilation shaft. Get it! Okay. Get up here. Do not die. I went the wrong way, I think. Uh, this is why I hate these vents. I sit in here for a little bit. And then go back straight in. Doom, doom, doo, doo, doo. Uh, I thought it was burning for a second, but that's just the light. We go in here. Is it up? That way, that way. I hate how confusing this is now. What the hell? Oh, I can just get out there now. All right. Uh, click to interact. Tenna room codes. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna screenshot all those real quick. Bing. Those. Oh, corrupted. Uh, what's over here? Fabrication room. Oh my god, that's a lot of codes. Okay. All right, now I think we got a lot of, I think we got all the codes there. I'm gonna go uh, air up real quick. Then we go back down up in here. Now, go open those rooms. Screenshot of those <laughs> codes on my phone. It was like, frick it. I remember all that. Uh, we going down here. What is this? Fabrication room. Uh, can I get the map off? Nine, four, six. There's no zero. That's not that one. Oh, okay. So I I know which one it is. Nine, six. It's the only one that didn't have a zero. Alright, that. Alright, now we need the other codes. Three, four, nine, one. This is the same concept here. Open the door. Alright, now we need a pair of these. Ah! ah. Hit. Can I, like, get a good angle? There we go. electrical boxes in need of repair I'm at 60 uh freaking oxygen I need to go I need to go I need to go now go 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 oh god my sea glides about to run out that's not good uh go oh my god Duh! This is going to be a close one. Shite. Oh. Oh, God. That actually got me on my toes. Freak the scanner. I'm going... Actually, freak the builder. I don't... Oh, I've already got that one. Freak that. I'm going to take that. What's the repair tools? 40, 43. Okay. We shall be good. I think. Oh, that had me at the edge of my seat. <laughs> I was not too sure if I was going to make it. Uh, okay, but now when you get, we got the other ones, which might be a little bit finicky. I don't want to get too close. There it is. Got it. Boxes in need of repair. This one. Hopefully we shall activate this. Enter passcode. Please repair. I need the four digit passcode. Oh, antenna room. Uh, it could be one of these. 1003. Reactivate. No. 
Uh, quick, 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 quick. Ten... Ninety, was it? Ninety. Okay. Nope, I need another code. I'll be right back. Go! I need air, I need air. Give me the fucking air, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I say I refuse death. Okay, let's go back in. There should be a finer time, and then after this, I'm gonna end the episode, and we'll continue off probably at the base. Oh, oh, oh hold up, hold up. Codes, codes, codes. Gravitation room. Based event. Event secrets. Ten room. Is it these codes? 19. Oh, there's a bunch of potential codes. Let me let me screenshot these real quick. Bank. Got him. All right, get off the screen. I need to. I need to. Uh. Go to see if any of these codes work. All right. Okay. Uh. Let's do seven. One fifty six. Reactivate. Nope. Hey, how bouncy it is. S uh, 1993 is what I'm gonna do. Hello. Oh, we did My it. Name is Ava. I am your oh, hold up. Assistant embedded in your MC Studios EDA. Hello, Ada. I established a connection to the nearest Altera hub fabricator station. Altera Universal Transponder is unable to establish a connection to an authorized Altera network. Altera Hub now running in autonomous mode. Welcome Alternate instructions have been loaded to this PDA. Alright, that's probably going to end enough, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, part. I Hopefully this didn't feel rushed. I was just trying to get to this part uh, quick. So... Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you never ever miss a video. And until next time, bye!